Baboon TV presents 10 Strange Family Traditions. Number 10. School Picture Day has a special tradition for the Ghost family of Brownsburg, Indiana. Since 1958, several men of the clan have worn the same simple blue and gray sweater for their class photo. Number 9. This tradition was born out of necessity. In 1950, the Smith family was too poor to pay for a new pair of pants for their eldest son's high school graduation, so Papa Smith lent his pinstripe pants. He did the same thing for his other two sons, creating a Smith tradition that has lasted four generations. So far, 15 members of the Smith family have worn these same trousers, which have had quite a bit of wear and tear over the years. They are now in a closet until the next of the clan graduates in 2023. Number 8. Okay, so this isn't a family of relatives, but it's weird enough to include on the list. Every year, world leaders at the Asia-Pacific Economic Corporation, aka APEC, take a quote-unquote family photo wearing the traditional garb of the host country. It started in 1993 when President Clinton gave fellow leaders visiting the U.S. Bombardier jackets. The next year, leaders were given loud Batik shirts by host country Indonesia. The silly shirt phenomenon became quite popular with the press. In spite of attempts by both the U.S. and Russia to end the tradition in 2011 and 2012, Indonesia brought out the Batik shirts again in 2013. Number 7. Jack Daniels Leathers was named after the iconic whiskey drink because his father wanted to make his own father mad. Mr. Leathers pitched it to his wife who said, eh, why not? Jack Daniels Leathers, the apostrophe is on his birth certificate, was married to his wife, Linda, by Judge Johnny Walker, and their firstborn son was dubbed Jim Bean. If they have another boy, they say he'll be named Evan Williams, and if it's a girl, she'll be Sherry. Number 6. In 2012, Brittany Marshall decided not to follow in the footsteps of her mother and four older siblings. Unlike the other ladies, she is refusing to get breast implants. The Marshall women have spent a total of 50,000 pounds on silicon breasts. Brittany, who was just 14 at the time, said she was too young to be thinking about a boob job. Her mom, 53, and 32 double G, says she's just going through a quote-unquote funny phase. Number 5. Mike and Martin Gray have a Santa holiday photo tradition that rivals most. It started in 1980 with just Mike when he was one, and in 1984 his new younger brother Evan joined the picture. Ever since then, they have taken a picture with jolly old St. Nick, even as they got too big for his lap. Thirty years later, the brothers posed with their children in 2013, keeping the tradition alive for the next generation. Number 4. It sounds rather naughty, but the Queen's pricking tradition is a royal tradition for selecting the new high sheriffs by choosing their name with a bare bodkin or needle. Some say this custom goes back to the first Queen Elizabeth, who allegedly couldn't find a pen to write with, and instead pricked the selection with the bodkin. Number 3. This father-son tradition is one from beyond the grave. Sort of. Jason Bailey and his father Christopher were huge fans of the Walsall football team, and would go to nearly every match together. After Christopher had passed away, Jason took his father's dentures and a handkerchief to a playoff in 2001, where Walsall won against Reading. Ever since then, he's brought dad's ganaches to every match he attends. Number 2. Passing down a wedding gown is a common enough tradition, but for 11 generations, now that's an unusual feat. The Victorian-style dress was first worn by Mary Lowry Warren in 1895. It was passed down the maternal side of the family and first seen by Abigail Kingston, Mary's great-great-granddaughter, in 1977. Abigail was just five years old and at the sixth wedding at which it was born. By the time she was ready to marry, it had been worn by four other brides and was in terrible shape. With the help of a dry cleaner and over 200 hours of restoration, Abigail walked down the aisle on October 17, 2015. Number 1. For 80 years, a shadowy figure dressed in black and white would visit the original grave of poet Edgar Allan Poe on his January 19th birthday and mark the event with a toast and some roses. It was reported to have started in the 1930s with the person suddenly appearing, raising a glass of cognac and leaving behind three roses in a specific arrangement. Who was behind this ritual was never revealed, but it was believed to be a tradition started by a father who passed it on to his son. As mysteriously as it began, the last official sighting of the Poe toaster was in 2009. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.